Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about the proactive remediation in Intune. So how you can proactively fix your issues from the end user device. So let's get started. So here is the content what we are going to cover up in this video about the remediations, prerequisite, license and the permission requirement the script requirement, the detection, detect and the remediation script. That means is it detect your issue with the script and remediation and apply the fix on that. So script deployment and the reporting. So now here is about the remediation. So what is the remediation? So remediation script will keep you uh, will keep you to detect the issue on user device before they realize they are having the issue on their device. So that means is your script will detect the issue before the user realize that he is facing some issue on his device. So remediation script will detect and fix the issue. So you can create your own script for detection and the remediation on the PowerShell. So when you're deploying any remediation script through Intune, you need to create a PowerShell. Uh, that two types of PowerShell, one is issue will detect and another the script will fix the issue. And the each script package consists of the uh, detection script, a remediation script and the metadata. So you should have the two types of a script. One is for detection and one is for the remediation. Now the prerequisite. So prerequisite is basically it automatically it fulfill when you're the Intune uh, environment is running well. Like you should have uh, the device enrolled. Either it can be a hybrid Azure AD joined or that is uh, directly enrolled to the Intune. So a common is the device running the Windows 10 and uh, the version 19.03. So minimum version should require 19.03 or it can be co-managed or directly enrolled to the Intune. So uh, if your device is reflecting in Intune, then you can deploy any remediation script on that. Now here is the licensing. So licensing is a very pretty simple over here. It's uh, like a E3, E5 or, uh, or A3, A5 or the VDA license. So as I told, if you are running the your SSEM infrastructure, so no need to worry about your licensing, it will be already there. Now the script requirement. So first thing is how many script you can deploy. The maximum script you can maintain in Intune 200 scripts. A script only run if the detection script use exist code is one. So uh, uh, as I told two types of script you should have one is for detection and one is for the remediation. So a detection script uh, uh, should have the exit one code. If it is not there then remediation script won't be run. If the option enforce the script signature check is enabled there is an option for the script uh, uh, option for the enforce script signature then you should verify the utf8 script but normally if you write the powershell and don't select the enforce script your any of powershell script will run no worries on that so the maximum allowed output size will be 2048 characters and now here is the some precautions do not put the reboot command in your the detection or the remediation script if you put it the device will reboot and do not include any of sensitive information in the script like the passwords and all do not keep the password in the powershell script and do not use the personally identification ppi in the script don't paste any information in the script and do not uh, use the script to collect the personal da personal data from the device. So these are the recommendation when you are writing the script and uh, let's go to the detection script. So this is a very small script. I write it for the Microsoft Defender. So that is say if your virus definition is, uh, is less than the 10 days, then your uh, device will mark as a compliance and uh, uh, then your script will uh, giving the exit code. So if your devices mark as a uh, compliance and exit code is zero, uh, that means is your script can be uh, run there. Uh, sorry, a script won't be run if it is a compliance. If it is a not compliance, then it will detect it and then uh, you can run your uh, remediation script if the exit code is one. 
so here is like again uh, for the remediation script how you can fix that uh, while uh, not updated device so you can use the update signature if your uh, your uh, def is less than uh, if you are uh, greater than the 10 days then your script will run if not then uh, it will give you the exit code so guys uh, let's move it forward to the now uh, so let me show you the first script uh, what I write it for the detection so here I write it on the PowerShell and uh, let's test this what type of output it will give us so now uh, I ran this and uh, here you see that its output came uh, with the uh, compliance and uh, the exit code will be zero so if the exit code is zero then a script will not uh, it won't detect for the remediation it won't go for the remediate so if my device device is compliance then no need to remediate the device it will uh, it will not apply actually the uh, the remediation part and this is the remediation if you, if your uh, the detection is a not compliance then it will uh, run that script okay so uh, now uh, if your output came with the exit code one then this script will go and uh, it will fix the virus definition issue and again it will check uh, whether it's a compliance or not compliance so if it is again if it is not compliance then it will be a give a try and it will be under the loop so based on your deployment uh, it will rerun 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 again until this virus definition do not fix so let me go to the Intune console here and uh, we'll deploy this script on the test device. Now here uh, Intune console, let's go to the device part and under the device, so under the device we need to go search the remediation. So this is the remediation part where we are going to create a uh, remediation script. So now here uh, go to the create a script package and uh, here uh, let's uh, named as like a proactive remediation script and here you can mention uh, whatever you want to give the details like uh, to uh, fix the virus DFIN virus definition script proactive script is for I'm giving the defender so this uh, proactive remediation script for the defender antivirus now let's go to the next and uh, import the script and once you're done with the, your scripting part save is as a de uh, detection dot ps1 and now here is your the detection script and uh, let me go to the next script is for the remediation part so here you can select the another script for remediation so if the output is uh, here not compliance or the exit code zero then this part will uh, sorry the exit code if a one then the remediation script will run if your exit code is zero that means is already it's remediated and the compliance so your remediation part won't run so this script let it be it's we're not going to uh, change anything this is the enforce script signature check if you select this then you have to be write a script in uft8 format but this is not mandatory you can go for the run and this part is for if you select this part then the script will run only when the user logged in so do not select this option and this is for run the script in the 64 powershell it doesn't matter what you're selecting over here the script will run in the both the situation so now let's go to the next and uh, here is scope no need to do anything uh, assignment so let's assign this script to a test group so now here uh, already I create a group let me show you what is the group name so it's a proactive remediation and let me show you what is inside this so here I added a one test device so here you can see instead total number of device it's sinking so here you can see in it's a one device is there the one member and uh, the device is one user is zero so we don't have any users here so a script deployment is part of a, your device so this is the intune uh, hyphen 2 this is my the task device and let me go to select here the proactive remediation group so now we are done with this deployment and here is a part of schedule what uh, what the schedule you can give you can run the script daily it's a repeat uh, every one and here you can define the time 
timeline it's uh, at what time the script will run so what i will do uh, let me set up as a uh, hourly so i can get the result immediately uh, this is every hour i select and now we are done with the scripting part so now this our remediation script will go and uh, check the virus definition uh, if it is a less than 10 days then our the remediation part will run if it is not then uh, it won't run the remediation so uh, let's go here and just refresh it and now here uh, if you want to modify anything you can go uh, this is our dashboard for the reporting if the issue uh, exists then it will give you the output here and if it is fixing without an issue failed or this is this is part for the your detection and this is a dashboard for your the remediation so if the issue got fixed it will mark as here if it is uh, like a recurrence here and if it is failed it will type it here so now this is the property for your script what you design it and if you want any modification so you can go here in the setting and uh, you can again you can import uh, your uh, powershell script if uh, if you have any issues in that so no need to delete and recreate it you can just modify the script and save it again and if you want to change any like uh, group or uh, want to change uh, your uh, settings to be deployed so you can again you can modify here so you can change it to uh, daily or monthly however you need it you can change it so now let's uh, go to this part yeah device so it will give you the where the script deployed on the device and it will give you the output over here now let me go to the device test device and uh, we'll sync the device policy so the policy will reach to the intune and uh, it will start the remediation let me go to the setting now let's go to the uh, the your yeah, accounts and now it's a work or a school account and uh, now here to select the account actually this is my the hybrid as you already shown device so this device is not directly enrolled to uh, in intune so uh, now here uh, let's go to the sync so it was synced on 18th uh, 11 a.m and now it's a 1 p.m so once the device is sync we can expect the result in our intune console okay so the device was synced and you can see is the detect.ps1 was ran it and uh, now it given the result as a powershell exit zero so uh, now this is script executed but uh, on the intune 2 device and i see that it's still not updating data to the intune portal so what i did it let me show you uh, you can go here and uh, and what I can show you so here let me go to the group and under the group the proactive remediation I added the one more device it's my the local device what I added here uh, just to test it if I have a any issue on my the local device so I added the one more device let me go to the member this console is really slow too much I don't know why so I added this device is having the two entry so I added this my the laptop it's my the local laptop and let's back to the proactive uh, remediation so here uh, still data is not updated but if you go to the device status you can see it here like uh, device has run is the without any issue or it's not run because uh, the virus definition is already with the latest version uh, so that's why the script remediation is not run so uh, the detection is a without issue if it is a without issue then the remediation won't run if it is detected as a issue then the remediation will run but uh, under the device it's showing the device entry but uh, under the overview it's not showing might be there is a, some problem so i refresh this console many times uh, but after uh, some time the data will populate it over here so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video thank you